here to thrill you again with um, some of our exciting videos and I uh, will quickly want to drop this that if you have not been following up our our shots you are really missing so much so you really need to uh, step up and then log on into BMA 99 production so that you can get our exciting videos like and that means you have to be able to subscribe if you're a first timer and then hit the bell so that you'll be the first to always get the notification of our videos that has dropped all right we want to thrill you today with just three major locks there are more but we we'll just want to use the regular ones that anybody is aware of so stay tuned and enjoy this all right <clears throat> as you can see the daily proceedings of humans are, 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 are characterized with assumptions like most people they feel if you are skinny or somebody who is skinny and the other person is muscular they think they, they, they have they have different kind of uh, of uh, feeling or the way they see things about these two categories of people like if you are confronted with or by somebody who is or who is skinny your your feeling will be different how you feel how you look at the person will be different from the person who is muscular but i want to shock you that most times somebody who is skinny might be even more dangerous and deadly than the muscular person all right now but there are things you need to watch out for which as we go on you'll be able to understand this point the first grab we want to uh, lock we want to uh, uh, want to assess is the lock from the back as you can see he is strong and muscular so when he locks like this it's not a child's play if you can remember in our previous videos about uh, locks I talked about when you are lock to this point which is which is affecting or locking your throat directly the first thing you need to do is to pause your breath because if you try to breathe you will choke so but when you pause your breath it will help you within the few seconds to plan and to know exactly what to do to avert or to free yourself from the lock now he has locked I... now the next thing i need to do is there that is a, a, a double elbow strike to the side like that now he's free now from here the moment i take that and i notice there's a little bit of freedom from here what do i do next there to the groin there after the strike drop one two and uh, there i go three and it's gone I come back again he locks I take the elbow double elbow strike to the side one and I realize there's a free a little bit of freedom I move to the groin one and I go here then from here he's helpless and decide to follow up follow up and follow up and it goes you can do thousands of things to him and you find your way you want him to drop by those punches punches and kicks he will drop but if he fails to drop you can see as well move to him and pack he will go but the most important thing you need to know is how to free yourself with or from that lock remember the point you are striking must be well known to you otherwise you will end up not doing anything your two elbow 
Before you strike, hold it again, hold it again. You must be sure that your elbow will penetrate the side like that. You must be sure. Then you go and don't have it in mind to go only once. Have it in mind to go two, three times. But once can solve the problem. But when you go one and two and three, he must free you. That's what I'm saying is don't just do one and relax in case you did not actually get the point. Because if you do not get the point, it won't cause anything to him to the extent that will make him free you. This is to, uh, to, to produce a shock on him that will make him free you. But by the time you do this, bam, bam, and you see there, bam, you can still use the head as the same as well. If you go one, two, lock, you go one, two, three, see there, you go to the head. And you can see follow up with all the necessary things you want to do. All right? That is number one. Now we are going to go to the number two lock. All right? Now, as we can see, this is one of the basic locks that is very common too. Maybe in the process why you're fighting, or sometimes, sometimes you might just somebody tries to just uh, molest you by locking you this way. All right. Now, as far as your hand is free from here, what you do, go to the head. When you go to the head, sink yourself down. Bam! You're striking your elbow, I mean, your shoulder to the throat. Sink yourself down. Bam! By the time you go down, you see this? It's in danger. With that force. Bam! As a strike. Bam! Here. And then you add this. And you turn the head. As simple as that come up all right now take the, the the lock again take the lock again good now watch very well the explanation of how to free yourself from this lock again as I said before get hold of the head from the back of the neck sink yourself down with a force and with with, with the bouncing your hand bouncing his head down because you are using your elbow i mean your shoulder as a point of strike to his throat so when you sink down like this that's a strike already now from here you twist the neck if you twist the neck and he refuses to follow he will break the neck so he does not have any choice but to follow when you twist the neck now from here he is at your mercy. You can dislocate every, anywhere. Destroy. Okay. Now, come up again. That, that, that's one way of that same, that same technique, uh, throwing down. We are going to use another way of that same technique, throwing down. Now, grab. Do the lock again. He locks. I grab here. I sink down. This time I go this. Then from here, pa, pa, boom. Did we see that? That is very deadly. Like I said, if he does not respond to the call with the neck he will lose his neck both with the twisting down and with the throwing because that throwing all has to do with the neck if he tries to resist he will lose the neck so because I shoot him and pull the neck he goes all right so that is number three I mean two all right, 
let's take it once again at least for the benefit of some of us that may have not really seen the proceedings so now take the lock again I'll try to be a bit slower too take my position at the same time and add the, the grab to the head behind the neck now sinking down with the waist shoot backward pulling the neck the throw ah. that bam, bam, bam. okay now i hope our viewers will be able to learn from that and try to work on it or practice it if there's need for it all right now let's take number three the last but not the least now this is locking the neck from this way in fact this is a very common way too and it's very common to everybody now how do you escape from this remember it's still the lock still goes to the throat like I said the rule number one and such by uh, uh, when you you are facing with such lock what you do is seize your breath that's number one rule seize your breath and the next thing what you do is look at the leg the knee is right close to you here. Take this right to the knee. See that? All right, that was devastating. So let me take it lighter for the viewers to learn. Now take it again. Good. Now you hold your breath, rule number one. You observe the knee is right in front of you. Take this strike to the knee. Palm here. At the same time, pull out. Pull out is at your mercy. Pull. I bet you that strike to the knee is not a child's play. He can best explain what he felt. You saw his reaction at the first instant, which I actually dropped the strike a bit harder. Now I had to lighten it up a bit so that the leg will not be injured. Okay, take the lock again. Good. Rule number one, always remember, hold your breath. The next thing, Take your hand here. Just here alone, you can even strike the groin at the same time and do this. See that? That's what happens. Come on, you pull yourself out. Because the moment you take that strike, he must free you, no matter what. Because it is a shock. It sends a shock to the knee. And the muscles here will send the message and the lock will we will loosen up All right so that is that you see it once again slowly he grabs all your breath take this one and go bam and you're out and it strike it strike and that is that and but that's the last one for today well let's do that same one and just give another form we are still working on the number three but another form now lock and lock again all right now this is another form to escape from this lock rule number one hold your breath the next thing to do you take this right. And you are free now you can see what he's doing that has great effect on the shoulder it can dislocate the shoulder 
it might be seen as if it's nothing but it is very very devastating you can see what is happening now all right so we are going to pause there till we meet next time for more exciting moments please i will not forget to remind our first timers if you're coming if you're coming to the video for the first time please do not forget to subscribe and always hit the bell to be the first to get the notification for our exciting videos thank you bye